Good morning, everybody. This video is an amendment, so to speak, to the video I made yesterday about recognizing the voice of God. If you have not watched that yet, then go back and do so, if you so choose. Um, in the video yesterday, I talked about uh, how important it, it is to read and know the written word of God uh, in order to learn to recognize his voice and one thing I did not mention in yesterday's video is that God does not always answer when we want him to okay um, we live, especially in America, we live in a microwave society. We live in a um, high-speed internet society where we want and expect things to happen quickly. And the Lord does not operate on our timeline. And I have found in my own experience that Sometimes I have to wait to hear an answer from him. So this morning I wanted to share some verses with you about waiting on the Lord. May it encourage and bless you. The first one we have here is Lamentations chapter 3 verse 25. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. And then we go to Psalm 38, verse 15. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope thou wilt hear, O Lord, my God. We know that when we pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will hear. Even if he does not answer right away, we know that he will hear. Now let's go to Psalm 25, verse 5. Psalm 25, verse 5. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. And finally, we have Proverbs. Let's see if I can get over here to Proverbs. I thought I marked it, but I guess I didn't. Here it is. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. Sometimes God makes us wait on purpose to um, teach us patience and to teach us the virtue of waiting on him. And I have had to learn that lesson the hard way, <laughs> as is often the case when the Lord tries to teach us patience. Yeah, things may not always go as smoothly as we hope, but he is faithful and he will complete the good work he has begun in us and he has promised that if we abide in him whatever we ask in Jesus' name we are to ask as though we are expect to get it you know we're not to doubt and I personally have asked the Lord something and since he didn't answer right away forgot that I even asked and I'm sure he has been frustrated by that <laughs> if he does indeed get frustrated and but that's something that I'm learning that there have been many times when I have asked for clarification or understanding on a certain topic and 
he will lead me to the answers days later, sometimes weeks later. So we need to wait patiently for the Lord. He loves us. He wants to give us good things. He, you know, we're told in the book of James that if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask of the Lord. And he will give it liberally. So we need to remember that. And we need to believe it and trust it. Sometimes, maybe his answer is that you don't need to know the answer to whatever you were asking. Maybe what you want to know is off topic for his plans for your life. And if so, he will let you know about that. He will tell you to move on, you know, to let it go, that you don't need to know. And he has told me that many times. So have a good day today. I may or may not be on. He did give me three passages of scripture the other day that I believe are applicable to this time that we are living in. I don't know if I will make that video today or tomorrow, but have a good weekend and uh, leave your comments. If you have questions, if you have anything you want to add, I would really, really love to read it. So thanks and have a good day.